you all the time. Hi, Danny. Hi, Anime Cat Girls. Ooh. Um, welcome to my basement again. Um, Dan, the man from Japan. You should just pretend you're from Japan. and People would really be interested. Anyway, um, what do I call this series? Z does? It's more like Z watches someone else that knows how to do. So I, I unboxed this on this channel. This is the Bosch water heater. And I'll explain the problem that Dan and I are going to um, not attempt to fix. We're going to fucking do it. This is my hot water heater. It's uh, instant. Propane and instant, right? This is a nice yellow line filled with death gas. Don't, please, no, no. And the problem with this is when I'm running my sink in the kitchen, it takes two minutes and 30 seconds for the hot water from here that's produced to come up through this pipe. And then it goes here and then it, it, tease off and then it goes here and it goes all the way here all the way here where it tees off and then it goes this way and then it makes like a whoo and then it comes here where it tees off and then it goes here and then this is where my kitchen island is that's a ways so it takes forever and i started insulating the pipes on that side which is going to help a great deal keeping the pipes warm but <clears throat> That sucks. And the plumber was like, hey, you need a recirculating pump. Not you, me. He pointed at me. So in my kitchen under the sink is a pump, and I'll explain what that does. It literally turns on and it connects the hot and cold water at the sink. So it's like, hey, I want hot water. Give me hot water. Are you using it? No. Then it shoves it into the cold water side because it's all a closed circuit. Because only cold water comes into a house. And then it comes here. Well, actually, the cold water prop. Where does the cold water? Goes the, back in the pipes, then it comes back through here and recirculates. But where's the actual split? Because that's one inch pipe there. And it's somewhere in the ceiling. Somewhere in the ceiling is a split. But the point is this. So if, even if this makes hot water, the idea of the recirculating pump, if you had a normal like, t like tank, like a normal tanked one, it would slowly pull hot water out of it and keep hot water in the pipes all the time. And you could set it on a timer and it would just keep the hot water with insulated pipes. So when you turn your sink, there's hot water there. The problem with the instant is, since it's taking such a small amount and trying to pull it through, it never turns on. Like this would have to turn on the fire jets. That appropriate. So instead of pulling hot water, it just keeps pulling, it just runs so slowly that it keeps pulling cold water. So anything that was hot in the pipes is now just thrown away, which actually made my cold water hotter than my hot water for a little while. So the, the solution to this wonderful system, well, this is all wrong, by the way. If I did this in my own real life, it would be instant hot water heaters, all electric in every room that needs them. So your kitchen would have an instant electric. You turn on the hot water, you only run cold to the kitchen, and the cold gets e, and then you have hot water. So to fix this system, though, since we already have the $500 recirculating pump under the fucking sink plumbing, um, we're going to add this 7-gallon Bosch sealed wall mount little baby one. So you, you really can't run a whole house on that. It's mostly meant for like a kitchen or something, like something small. But what we're going to do is we're going to run this into that and then that into the lines of the house. So it'll just sit here, just staying nice and toasty warm. And when that recirculating pump pulls slowly, it'll pull hot water through the pipe like it's supposed to. And then when I go to take a shower for three and a half hours, the draw will be enough that this fucker kicks on, puts the hot water it's making into that, which is already making hot water. That'll just shut off. Because it's like, oh, the water in here is 130 degrees. It's great. So this will heat the hot water that's in here, which I'm already getting the hot water from there. And then when everything's said and done, this shuts off. And then it goes back to just being an efficient little ball of insulation. It's like a hot water capacitor. Yeah, it's a hot water capacitor. Also, this isn't the right way to do this, but this is just what we're doing. Yeah, no, I mean, the, the, what would be the right way to do this? There is no right way to do this. There's no way to fix my problem of I want hot water at my sink and less than... more sensitive instant water heater. Yeah, but this propane, I don't want it to kick on a propane water heater every time I want to like, I just want it to, because I have to run my, it has to run this for two and a half minutes every time I want to get water out of the sink at all. Less than my bathroom, my bathroom's like right here, but that's dumb. So this is great, but dumb. This would be perfect if you had like nine showers set up in like a fireman shop or a uh, like a sorority with a lot of sexy ladies. This would be great because it would just put out hot water as soon as everyone's in there. And as soon as they stop, it's off. Makes no, there's no need. This is just gonna actually just keep something so that the water can be pulled. It's, it'll be fine, it'll be it's fine. Like, it's like a really indirect pipe heater. <laughs> yeah, it's like a really indirect pipe heater. 
So we're gonna drain, hopefully, the hot water side. As soon as I pull this lever, it start draining. Oh God. It's pooping. No, you gotta pull it straight out. There you go. So now we're taking all the hot water out of my line. It's not hot. Will we, will we run it? No, it's cold water. And hopefully it doesn't fill that bucket up. We'll dump it outside. And then we're gonna cut here and here. Actually, we're gonna cut this, unscrew this. We went to Home Depot, which I don't like Home Depot, I prefer Lowe's. And instead of like the 19 things that we were planning on buying, it'll all come out, I'm sure. And, well, you know what it is? That drained, I'm sure we're gonna have water everywhere. But anyway, uh, here's what we're looking at. One Can side. You know, get the temperature? Because that's all the water apparently between the faucet and you. This tiny amount of water just came out. Maybe it's back drained? I don't know. Point is, this is going to go to that valve, which is going to screw in. And we got it here. And this is going to go to this valve. And it's got a shark bite adapter. And we're going to just attach it to the old piece of copper I to continue. People get really judgy about shark bites, but they're easy. You can't deny those. They're easy and they're guaranteed, so fuck it. And if the shark bite leaks, I'll bend Dan over outside and flog him in public. I don't know what flogging actually is. Isn't that, what, isn't that when they throw the, the flip-flop at somebody? I don't think that's what it is. I don't think that's flogging. Anyway, so we also have to, oh, we had to change this outlet out to a two because it was a one. And it turns out that outlet is also the outlet for all of my fucking bed, uh, basement lights. Because the uh, gas heater didn't have any draw except for like what? I think I tested it like 1.8 kilowatts over like a period of a week. So it's like nothing. It just I mean, turns on. Yeah, it's a gas igniter. And there's not even a pump. It's just the hot, the hot water gets pushed through it automatically. Maybe some some active vents. You know, there's a fan or something? Yeah, it might have a fan. Might have a fan. It's doing something. So we had to change it out so it had two. Because now we're going to have this powered. We had to buy. There's a cord around here somewhere that we're going to cut. Implement this. We got wire nuts. We got things. Dan's got this. This smells like brushes. Not as bad as yours. Shut up. Anyway, so we'll come back when we started cutting shit. And that's done crying. I'm gonna open more taps. Oh god, so IT man who is linked to the top of the description, pasta. Pasta! Make sure IT man is linked to the top of the description. Because this is his channel, is gonna have this shit. Just projects and fucking workarounds and fuckery. You should call it fuckery, professional fuckery. I think that would be a good... I don't want to touch anything. Go. Even though we have water still coming out, it should be fine. So this is my gas line here, and it's very jiggly, as you've seen. But we're going to we're gonna put that saw, like, right in, against it. I guess as low as you can go, or what? I'll do it right here. Oh, it's got to match that, right? Yeah, I'm thinking that it'll be good. It doesn't have to be exact. Well, actually, yeah. I'll cut, I'll cut it as long as possible, so that way we can cut it shorter if we have Yeah, yeah. Want me to hold it? Yeah, that's probably not a bad idea. I'm gonna get stuck, right. though. I like getting wet. I get wet for... Wow, I love how we did something. We, like, we gave it a jiggle, and it's just pouring out of here now. Maybe I should wait. For how long? Like, it just keeps going. Like, where is this water coming from? It's just, it's just getting... Great, now even pasta's here. Hi, pasta. Yeah, fill me up. Fuck it. Fuckit.com.org. Yeah, Your saw is filling with water now. Here, hold on. There you go. It's alright, everyone needs their saw to be filled with water. This is what makes you popular on the YouTubes. It's fine. It can, it can handle that. Scott. Sweet, we're fucking with pipes. Pipes, we broke my pipe on purpose. Okay, now we need to saw it here so we can unscrew the old one. Yay! Noticing that this bright yellow thing is what we shouldn't fucking saw and uh. It's around everything, yeah. I'm helping. See, Zeos helps. 
Oh, why is there cold water constantly on my hands? That's it, you got it. Splish splash, motherfucker. Anyway, I would highly recommend Posse you link a uh, Milwaukee portable bandsaw because that shit just fucking owned those pipes. Like if I was going there with a, with a reciprocating saw, this would not be the most fun job on the planet Earth. It's fine. Oh, we gotta put another wrench on that. Yeah, this is actually loose. This is real loose. Like this is holy fuck loose. Uh, wrench here, and then you wrench there. No, no, should I wrench here? Yeah. Here, I'll get around to the back. Which which way are you turning it? Your... I'm turning it this way. So I gotta push it this way. So this is correct orientation okay. for this. Might as well adjust it a little more. Yeah, it's gotta be down a little, bit. a little bit. See, look, we're learning. Wait. No, bigger. Okay. This is where prayer comes in too. Ready? No, but do it anyway. You're gonna smash me in my knuckles, I can feel it. I'm slipping, I'm slipping, hold on. I need a real like monkey wrench. If, actually, this is a solid piece. If I grab it up here, I can do it. It's just a matter of, oh. No, that's too. That's the one. All right. Now that makes more. It makes the most sense. Okay. I guess that does not. It's not attached. Is that a nut? Oh yeah, I see. Oh, uh, it's a nut. Actually, I have this one. Too. Son of a bitch, bastard. Son of a bastard, bitch. Can I try this one? Oh, that's an old school one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, I'll get it. I move these because these are important things. Excuse me, gas pipe. You're, can you, gas pipe, can you give me a second? You know what? This this may not work unless I hold. On, let me try to get on this side. Behind the gas line, where the spider webs are. There we go. Okay. Now, which way are you going? You're pulling it this way, correct? Yeah. So I'm pushing against the wall, which is easy because I just like lean against the wall. You're actually against the valve here. You might want to close that. Here, hold on. All right. Yeah, close it. Wait. No, I think it goes. It goes this way. It goes clockwise. Yeah. I don't have the strength. You got to get a tool. These damn Italian things are so fucking strong. Plumbing is fun, everybody. Except when it's not. There we go. All right. Oh, there's just still water coming out of everything. Here, I'm, ah, I'm blind. Now you're blind too. Everyone's blind. Ready? I'm holding it, so. Hmm. Maybe we have to heat this up. Oh, no, there it goes. I'm just banging the gas pipe a little bit. <laughs> if you start smelling propane, everyone at home, run. Call 911. Okay. Well, the whole house burns down, then you'll have hot water everywhere. While the well pump is just going nuts, like, wow, this demand is really high. Then the generator kicks in. I'm literally fucking blind now. Okay. Okie dokie, everybody. Oh, my, my arm. I, that's fine with me. I'm like, ow. I don't drink the hot water. No one should drink the hot water. Even with only this system, with only like a one foot extra length of pipe, we have so much water. Just, where's it even coming from? Because I have the main off to the house now, by the way, everyone. I shut that main off. So whatever's in the pipes is all like. Maybe, but it, it it would have to run. That's cold. Yeah, it's, the garden hose expands, so it turns into like a pressure reservoir. Man, eh, it would have been done. It would have been done. It was a hundred feet of hose. It would have been done already. I mean, we barely like what is that? Like 
a gallon? Two gallons? It's actually not that much water. It's just taking forever to come out. I'll just put my mouth on it and suck it. <laughs> he laughs, but I suck a fucking golf ball through a garden hose. Oh, we gotta make sure you close that valve before we just put that cap back on it. Like, that valve was super easy to open. The other one was like, nah, fuck you. So now we gotta cut this drain fucker off. Right? Um, yeah. But we're not, we're not, wait, how do we, let me show you, let me go back to the uh, uh, table of things. The table of contents is what I call it. See what I did there? I made it awesome, because I called it something weird. Putting you on the ground for a second. So now we've got um, a Shark Bite 90. I'm just gonna throw things on the ground, because it's my basement, I do what I want. And my garbage pail. Well, how are we doing this first? Before we, we, so we have this, we're gonna replace that with this, correct? We're gonna put this straight through on it to convert it to PEC so we can run the drain. Okay, because then we're gonna take this, we're gonna convert this to PEX from this. So this is gonna go in here. Yeah, and these two things will become PEX drains. Yeah, yeah, we're converting, we're, we're basically gonna make both of them drain. Um, You can go, we have to go pretty high actually, don't you? Yeah, hold on. I'm gonna go this much after the bend. Right there you're gonna go? So hold on, wait a second. Let's, let, let me, wait, stop, stop, stop. Is this open or closed? Now it's closed. Now it's closed. Now I'm gonna bend this up so you have. There you go. Okay, so that right there should be good. I do love the port of end. That is, and I may have, I'm buying one of those for just the one, if I, even if once, even if just once, and I know this from, so convenient. I know this from cars, when you need that tool, just once, just that one fucking tool, but you're like, oh, fuck, I have that tool, I have to build this tool, I gotta, write. just having that tool is worth the entire cost of the tool. Especially because it's only like a hundred Ah, fuck. Okay, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna leave the, don't, I'm not gonna re-bend the, the gas, like once I bent it once, just leave it the fuck alone. Just leave, leave the, leave the gas alone. There's no point in going back and forth, back and forth. Um, this is electrical shit. So, here's just a regular coupler. Here's a 90 degree coupler. This is from, I'm just gonna make a pile of garbage on the floor. It's like an unboxing, but permanent. Water on the table. Um, I've showed this in the unboxing, but I'll show it again. This is what they've given us to mount this whole fucking thing, which is gonna hold seven ga- Hey Google, how much does seven gallons of water weigh? What's 8.33 times seven? So yeah, this is gonna weigh 60 pounds more than it currently does. 58 pounds more. And they just give you this weird fucking thing with like vampire teeth and two soft like foam bits that it's supposed to like stab into. So we're gonna hang this thing and then it's gonna weigh 60 pounds more after we hang it. So I have to find, well Dan's got his masonry bits, or IT man here. He, he, during the day, he's he might be down, but at night, IT man roams the streets. Um, we bought these nice son of a bitches, which are just gonna go blam straight into the, the concrete. We have to drill the concrete, which should be fun. I love drilling through my own walls. This is great. I own the house now. I own it. It's mine. I can just drill through the walls if I feel like it. So those are gonna go there. But we gotta figure out the height of that. We do a lot of height measuring, like with the with these, like how much do we want to bend them because they don't really like bend. And these are plastic, so I really shouldn't have been, Actually, this is plastic or metal? That's metal. It's metal, I think, with some kind of plastic. It might, it might have its own built-in little Teflon thing. Well, it's got this ring on top, for sure. But we're gonna need to figure out exactly the heights of our things. I'm gonna screw this one in now. Yee. When you want me to dump that bucket, I'll open the door and fight the spiders. There's plenty of room for now, though. Spider bucket. That's buckets of spiders. Anyway, so we're we're... We're at like the halfway point of this. The other half is gonna take four hours though, as failures occur. It's, we'll, 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 actually, I'll just help you. What can I help? I'm helping. Um, I could put this in here, right? Can I? I can put we go to the top with this, correct? Uh, yeah, 
Okay. Should we do it now? He said yes. Now this already came pre-packed with, um, uh, what is this, Teflon tape? Teflon tape on this, which is good and important because it keeps things from leaking. And this is the blow-off valve, that's the emergency blow-off valve. And you have to install it yourself because you can install it on the top or side of this Bosch T3000 Tronic. I just did the title for this video when I uploaded it for pasta. It's a stupid name. Come on. Don't cross-thread it if you could avoid Cross threading. That'd be fan fuck off tastic. This feels like it's going in straight. It's just it's real hard to turn. It had Teflon built in. Okay. Um wait, which way are we facing it? What do you mean? Where do you want me to end this thing's uh, journey? Uh, any way any way but this way. <laughs> any way but back? So like hard hard left? Daddy Zeos needs to turn harder. Hold on. Daddy Zeos needs to, uh... Screw that a little bit. One more little bit. Motherfucker. That's it. If you don't scream motherfucker under your breath, you ain't doing it right. So this is in case this hits, like, 210 degrees Fahrenheit. This will, look, this will open up. Or 150, thank God. Or 155 degree, 150 so, PSI. This will just go. Here like an idiot. Yeah, yeah. Well, we bought a new compressor, which I have to go pretend I unboxed. That's a thing, so I could write it off. It's not a write off. Let's let's start the car channel. If everyone likes to see a car channel, for the car channel, it is definitely infrastructure for the car or tools, just in general. Do um, you need me to hold the top while you tighten that? Uh, I don't think I need to because it should automatically kind of want to tighten. Double tighten. It's just going to twist the whole head unit. So now this is on here. We're going to have PEX. Where's our piece of PEX? Might still be in the car. Shit. Is your car still open up there? I never locked it. I mean, just like open, like the garage is open and like deer are running I into my... Shot the well, all right. We'll have to get the PEX. And then we're going to build a cool little thing out of this. Like, I would just give my kid a bunch of these. They're expensive as fuck. But it'd be cool, so cool if you were a kid and you had to play with like shark bite. Like, build your own waterfall. Yeah, sweet. I'd be that asshole dad that gives uh, his kid like $300 pack tubing. Do something interesting. There it is. We, we are big floppy donkey dick. This doesn't bend much at all. Like, we're not going to get like a loop out of it, which you don't want anyway. So that basically determines we should have probably got the shorter ones. Which is actually, well, this, this, yeah, we should have got the shorter ones, which we're fine. We're almost at the level where we should have just put something on the ground to put the water heater on and not fall onto it. Yeah, I know. Quick, go back to Home Depot. The, the idea, there were two lengths. There was one that was, it was only like, what, four inches shorter? Yeah. So, we have a slightly longer one now. So, when you put that on, you have to make sure it's the same height. It might work out, actually. I need to shorten this a teeny bit. Well, we're going to find out. That's what we're going to do. And, uh... Can we get a lot? Like, it's actually pretty damn close. It's going to be real close. And one has to spread out further than the other one, so I'm actually just going to leave it. Yeah, no, because it is further away. So it's just, it probably is perfect. Because we're perfect people. Like, we never fuck up, ever. We're the greatest it has ever been. I left my deburring tool at home, unfortunately. I always leave my deburring tool in my other pants. I hate these stickers. I hate labels. I hate when people get. Those, those labels that like leave a bunch of sticky residue. Yeah, I don't. I get whenever I go to whenever I go to uh, Bed Bath and Beyond and I buy like new silverware because I buy the cheap silverware from Bed Bath and Beyond, not the expensive shit. The one that's individually sold because I just like the style of like no pattern, just 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 nice. And for some reason, it's it's stuck on with like paper and glue instead of like the plastic that just peels off. Like, don't you want me to buy your product? Like, I, I can run through a dishwasher. I could leave it on until like I wash it a bunch of times. It doesn't matter. Fucking hates it. It fucking hates me. I have a rounded rasp if you want that. I have a round. Uh, oh, you have one. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah, do it. Battery file is gonna rust later. That's why you spray them with oil. Here's the old socket. 
sure we're gonna get oh. a lot of people saying about this is not how you do plumbing. No, this is absolutely. But the uh, what is the, this is what the, the, the other option is to make this thing run all the time with a recirc valve, or just Zeos just live with three minutes to get hot water in your sink. Not hot water. No, two and a half minutes for a hundred degree water, which is what I consider not cold water. My my shit sets to one thirty. Here, hold on, I'll hold. Oh, it's on there now, it's not coming off. That it? Yep. Is that how shark bite works? Yep, you push it on, it goes on, it goes early on, and then that's on. It spins though, is that good? Yeah, so it's an O-ring. Just don't spin it too much, or else you get a grinding groove with the teeth. Fine, fine. Fine. Because this is the one you're supposed to spin to put on. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, uh, this is finally running out of water. It'll never come back on. So now once we spread this out to the right width, we're going to have to, like, just bend that a little bit up, probably. Oh. Okay, I just got to put this somewhere. Put what somewhere? The water heater. Yeah, now the water heater. Well, now we have to figure out where the fuck we're mounting it. Okay, so... So another thing we have to take into account is that it's like five inches thick off the back. So it isn't just like straight here. Like those things are going to come like there. It's 11 and a half. So seven, no, five and a half, five and three quarters. And, and then off the wall, four and a half. And vertical. I wonder if we should have put a cutoff valve on the side with the hot water from the house. I mean, you were using all your cutoff valves from... Yeah, but if you wanted to drain this, if you wanted to drain before, like right after this, you can't. It doesn't matter. We couldn't, they didn't have those with the built-in ones anyway. Yeah, Not for three-quarter, they only had it for half inch. I only saw half inch. So that has to get attached. Yeah. So seven inches. It's plenty. Five inches down, five and a half inches over. Yeah, five and a half inches over. So we could put a line on this wall to decide where we're putting this? So, seven inches down. I have a marker if you want to use it. Where is it? In my car. All right, now keep in mind, we also have to figure out where these teeth go because the hole we're going to drill is going to be slightly lower. I already compensated for that. Of course you did. So this is going to be seven inches down. Do you mind if I like a little mark there? Oh, absolutely. N do not mark my beautiful walls. My, uh, my put, put, fuck, put the mark on the wall. I wouldn't even have asked. I would have like cut my hand and put blood lines on the wall. Like, fuck it. Hey, Dan, how much am I paying you for this? The answer is three hot dogs. And a snack. And a snack and a drink. They were really good. Where did we go? What was the name of the place? Jimmy's. Jimmy's? It was a place called Jimmy's. Look for a place called Jimmy's. The one that survived the flood, but got hit by the truck. Yeah, yeah. In 1955, it survived the flood, but then hit by a truck, and then the cart fell down. Then they moved to like a mall. Across the river. Yeah, if we figure out exactly, actually, does that look even? It's over the light just throwing me off. I'm just looking at the light though. Like this has to go here. This is such a weird fucking mounting system. Jesus. I guess it makes sense, though. We also don't even know how much this is going to push up into the unit. Especially once that thing weighs 70, 60 pounds more than it does. And it already weighs like 25 pounds. That's about where we want it, in theory. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens. Um, I guess what we can do is hold it up into the right spot first. But still... Well, here. Oh, you know what you could do? Here. We'll pretend this is sunken in from weight. Transfer the fucking line, like, onto the side. And we'll see where the hell it lines up. So here, just assume that that's where that's going. Okay. Take all my toys down. Uh, before we hang this, we have to do the electrical here while it's up here, here. Well, no, right now we're just temporarily moving it down there just to see what it looks like. You might want to move that giant bucket of water before I drop this into it and it goes splish. <laughs> Should I pick it up by this? This is like a good handle. I feel like this is a great handle for this. Or not, not at all. Oh God. 
Oh god, the water. All right. Like a bungee cord. What's this look like? Eh. Right here. I'm gonna just crouch and I'm gonna lean it against the wall. Oh, that worked out perfect. And I'm gonna hold it like. It's gotta go down a little bit more for this. Like that's that's perfectly straight and level. Where's our line? Exactly lined up. Ah, oh, we're the best. Oh god. This thing isn't that heavy. It's just me bending over. It's not. That's why Zio's Ben Z Benz is not a fucking channel. <laughs> All right, so now, oh god, J Jimmy, stop it, Jimmy. Now we do a lot. Where the fuck did the fucking cord go? Did I lose the cord we bought? No, I took it off and I stretched it out. I was undoing the kinks in it. I touched it, therefore it's gone. Could I have gone that far with it? That's a cord, that's a cord, there it is. See, you just gotta look for black cords. So anyway, we bought this, which we're gonna have to trim, we're gonna trim this down, because I don't want it to be a million miles long. I would not recommend plugging it Dude. through. Ah. Well, let me drop this in the water first, then you stand in there. So it's on this side, correct? Yep, so it's here. We'll run it along with all the other water. Not water, I'll just the water. So just like, boom, there. You concur? Uh, maybe one, two inches more, just a bit. This is my thirty-dollar Nipex. Thirty dollars is for this fucking tool. Wow. I got it at a Sears tool. I got it at a store that disappeared. It went out of business like right after I found it. Sure. It was a no. It was a Sears like direct outlet. It was the most amazing place I've ever been in my whole life. They had every tool, like every tool. It was beautifully laid out. It was in like a Costco sized building. And it was just tools, just Sears tools and appliances. So like a really fancy Harbor Freight? Oh no, it was way better than that. It was fuck, I took pictures of it years ago, 2017 I think I found it. I think it went out of business in 2018. So it's your fault. I literally was just randomly driving because I have fun with my with my black car because I just got it in like like back in 2017. Like I'm gonna just go for an adventure, and I just came across this like Sears outlet. I'm like, what the fuck is that? And I walked inside and I was in there for two hours. Did you buy anything? This. That's all. You, that's the only evidence that the place ever. Existed. No, this and the to the drill bit set that I use for my impact wrench, my impact gun, the quarter inch, the quarter inch locking drill bit set. I was like, oh my god, this place. You need a razor blade? Here. If you're good, you could use a razor blade. I'm good. I'm going to use a razor blade. Make sure you slice through, this, through the flesh of the hand. Oh, I already fucked it up. How bad? I need to cut the uh, two inch extra. No, if I only like an inch and a half extra, it'd be fine. Worst case scenario is we go directly diagonal. I hate these. I hate all these fucking things on the cords. I hate them. I hate it all. Hey, it old Dan. IT Dan. IT Dan. Dan Machi. You should make your name Dan Machi, because that's definitely not another thing on the internet. Okay. <sighs> Electrical wiring is boring. We'll be back. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. This is the reviews and IT man doing IT man things. Look how professional the wiring is. Look, the wire looks really good. It's all like attached and is straightened. Like... I'm very tired. I did a lot of buying. I did a lot of buying. Did a lot of buying today. Yeah, your money exhausted. So that four hundred dollar compressor was not part of my fucking three hundred. Three hundred? Thank God. It's much better now. It was four hundred for the whole trip. But it's silent. Ish. Hit it. <laughs> it's gonna run away because it's loud. How deep does it want to go? Oh, it wants to go deep, like deep. Like it wants to go deep. You gotta go at least the length of the entire thing. All right? Yeah, you gotta go like at least the whole length of that. Which is like the entire length of your drill bit. Basically to where the threads end. These are very deep. They do stick out a little bit, which is I don't really get like the reason for that, but I guess that's what it is. Alright, back to this in a second. We're doing the prayer. So, hammer drill was loud. 
Now we're gently banging my walls. They use the really good concrete here. The kind that's really hard to drill. Oops. Here, let me hold this and you... Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's hard to hammer into apparently as well. I don't want to bang up your hammer. It's a commemorative hammer with a real leather. It's stacked leather and then like... Do the other side so it's even. It's killing me. Every time he misses, he owes me a car. A what? We saw a Ford GT on the road. Jesus, it was pretty. We, have a, we saw a yellow Evo. I saw a Hugger Orange Miata. Hard top convertible or like removal top. And then, what else did we see? So the Evo, the, oh, I saw the little stubby truck, which is kind of cool. All right, I'm taking the hammer from you now. Because he has to do something. Yeah, because if I fuck my hammer up, it's just me. They're going to get a good view of my dick and then my chin. <laughs> Are sure we drilled far enough? Yeah, I definitely drilled far enough. Dude, this is like... Need a fucking sledgehammer for this other one. Jeebus. We may need a, um, I feel like we're not gonna be able to twist the fucking thing. I'm trying to hit it with the fucking edge of the hammer. Um, it'll probably pull in when we... Yeah. Jesus Christ. Thank you, 20 ounce hammer. Oh, whatever this one. Commemorative. Commemorative what? Though? It's an East Wing USA. It's a quality hammer. Don't, don't ever, don't ever insult my hammers. Don't insult me and my hammers ever again. Mm-hmm. Here. I'm good. This sounds so broken. What did you do to my baby? I'm going to set this to like 20. I wonder if that bit's big enough. No. Nope. Not even a little bit. And that's the biggest bit I got. So I'm also not pushing hard enough. I feel like those, those required hammering to get them in. So I don't know if they're going to even fucking spin. That might be it. <laughs> we may be done. We just nailed it to the wall. That's no, okay. I got tools. Dan's got the tools. Check out Dan's channel in the description. Dan's got the tools. That rule the school. You need a terrible fucking thing like that. Flathead. What year is it? It's, I don't want to slip out of it years. That's why it should be a square head. Get it over. That's a lot of torque. I'm telling you, I don't think that's gonna spin ever. Not a fucking not once. Well, it's supposed to. Yeah, but I we just twist. Well, as it was hammering it in, I'm like pretty sure it's never ever going to spin. Like a one to the quarter inch. Just stop. That should not be annoying you. Let it drip. It's okay. I want to get with my screwdriver. My wet screwdriver. I'll draw your screwdriver for you. Don't take that out of context, internet, please. Drawing another man's screwdriver is a completely legal and special thing. It must have expanded on the way in. Like, that's never coming off that wall. I hope so. That one might need to be hammered some more, that's all. I'm not happy with these anchors. No, they definitely were. How much were they? Like a dollar or something a piece? Yeah. Well, there's one left. Okay, I could, why is it, why is it? Oh, it's fine. It says it's supposed to turn two to three times. <laughs> I think it turned jack shit. Drill, clean, drive, tighten. I don't think we're supposed to have to hammer them in, is the thing. Yeah, we definitely used a quarter inch bit, though. Yep. Like, that's it. I think it, I think she just exploded in there. Oh, we probably pushed something in there. You know what happened? Here's what happened. Look how we probably pushed it, and it just expanded like that as we were hammering it in. Yeah. 
We just it, it once it wanted you to put a quarter inch hole and then like route it out really bad. Even if you get like a quarter turn, I'm gonna call that as like tight. So anyway, if you get a chance, see redhead is the ones I like for the for not for wall anchors. My my projection screen was held up with 20. I think they were redheads. See, it's tough because it's the raised bits there. You need to put something in, in the way. Uh, what could you smash? What tool of yours would you like to smash with a hammer? Here, here. Let's, let's do a trust exercise. No. Hold on, I'm, I'm adjusting my trust. <laughs> okay. You hit a little low and it was like... <laughs> you felt it go by. Actually, if I hold it like this. I don't like that at all. Here, hit it now. Which side? Uh, probably the side closest to you. Okay. It's good video. It's good video. We don't have a metal punch. Mm, I don't like this at all. I don't like it either, but it, it, it's might, this might be it. We might be done. Because we are not. We can't move it. We can't like drill another set of holes. Can't really get it out. Can't really get it out. This is the shit that happens though, man. This is, this is like, just have to, ex that'll never fucking come off the wall ever. Never, ever in a million billion years. Just the fact that it's sitting in a goddamn three inch hole. Now we were whacking it with the hammer itself. That was a quarter, that was at least a turn. It was a, a eighth of a turn, it was perfect. Chuck it. No, you, you did, it went off. You see, unlike me, Dan is one of those people that has to do things correctly. Whereas I'm like, that's fucking enough. I just know how much this thing's gonna weigh. Yeah. We could just put cinder blocks underneath it for like emergency. But here's another thing. We basically drilled pins into the wall that were facing down. So it's a shearing force, mostly. I mean, it's only my house and filling the, water, the basement with water. It's fine. We'll just never move that bucket. As long as that bucket's always there, it'll be safe. Yep. Okay, so now we have to get this on the wall. But it shouldn't be that way. Uh, correct. We should get a cap for that, uh. We do. Oh, we can steal that cap right there. No, we have the cap. We have the cap that we've been carrying around to the fucking store. Oh, we gotta put that on still. Yeah. Also, that's not threaded, right? Remember? What's not threaded? I believe in you, Dan. It's gonna drop right into the bucket of water. Oh, God. Too low? Too low. I guess it sunk in a lot further than we thought it was going to. Hi, everybody! <laughs> so, what <laughs> happened? Where our failure point was is that it's remember oh, the so cool. remember Back to the Future. This is bad. This is bad. Well, we get to redo the holes now. We only have we one. Really have one anchor. We have one anchor. We, have your blue things, don't we? we could definitely try that. That sucks. This one will. This one will fit fucking fine. This one will do do its its jam. This is just. This has been jimmied. It's, this will jimmy, but not jam. Well, it's always measure once and cut four times. That's that's just how life is. So I can't blame you were the one that held it up in the now it's my fault. Well, I, 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 I can't even blame you. I'm sorry that you can't blame me. We gotta get that off the wall now. <laughs> now is the fun part. Alright, let me go get some tools. So that sucked. We were so close to just being like, alright, hook it up. I gotta take a shit, turn the water on. But uh, now it's like, oh fuck. Now it's like, oh fuck. That's a destructive, that needs destructive tools to do that. Like, to what? He says it's loosening. So is my bowels. I could just pretend I'm looking for a tool also and be a real dick and be like, oh, just, just checking out for tools to help us get this off. You can never have too many Piccadilly rails in your fucking pick Piccatinny. Picatinny rails. Like I would I would like this would be perfect if I didn't give a shit about these brand new 
check things, but I do. Well, I don't have like a pry bar because I was not up to pry bar levels of needing when I was at my old apartment. You want to just pliers, try to yank that shit straight out? That rat right one's going to be a fucking nightmare. So you didn't compensate for the fact that it would sink completely into the bottom? Even if we did it, but we were off like at least a quarter inch. We weren't off by much. We were off by enough. Why well, don't we just loosen all the threads on the way up and it'll just lower the pipe down? And instantly I've lost all my credibility. Mm-hmm. Check out Dan's channel to watch him uh, teeter on the edge of success for years. He'll be like, he's like the new Boston Red Sox. So just, it was, it was so close to succeeding. Don't you want to build a jet car? Yes. So this... And I'm building an airplane right now. He's building an airplane that like his life is on the line. So this is going to be fine. We'll come back. All right, what, what time is it? Let me see what the time is. We've, uh, we've made a fuck up at about uh, 1725. So let's see when we come back without the fuck up. Yeah, fuck that wall. Fuck it. Okay. Headphones off. I only have one pair of noise setting things. These work just as well as those shooting muffs. And they sound better. Um, so now what we've got is these. The Diamond Tip Hex Head Concrete Screw Anchor. Which I think I taped this on there. No, I bought these on Amazon when I, uh, I, I bought these for doing the lights outside in the brick wall. I, I thought I was gonna need them for something. And I, I ended up like not using them for that purpose because I used different hooks. But these are all of them. These are the ones I was using in my apartment. Remember my apartment? You know what my apartment didn't have? Problems hanging on the water heater. Because it was just, it was whatever it was. So now we're gonna use the four of these instead of, we were gonna use two of these. Now we're gonna use four of these, but these were cheap. And I know these are like, these are ridged and they're gonna, they're gonna do aggressive things in the holes. And uh, we moved it up an inch and over an inch. You know, the problem is the ones we use at work are very similar to those and you're supposed to hammer them in. I don't think you're supposed to hammer those in. I don't think you're supposed to hammer these in at all. They're threaded. Well, no, I'm talking about the ones we failed with before. Ah. No, these should just slide in, and then you yeah. pull it and it expands. If I'd done that end bit more, it probably would have been fine. It was, you used a quarter inch bit, like you shouldn't have to fuck with it. No. It should have, like it said what you do use, and we well, used it. Is it went in easy at first, and by the time it was too late, that's when we had And we even blew out the holes, like it's not like we didn't. Like it wasn't like it was packed with shit. Okay. Is it our fault? No, it's their fault. I blame, I blame everything. We live in a society. <laughs> oh, the magnet on that is just being hilarious. So now we're just gonna screw these fuckers into the into the wall. Yes, we're gonna hammer drill that shit. Get that level, or you're never gonna get it level. We'll be hammering the fuck out of it. Yee. What moved? We're only using three. Why? It fucked up? Pass me other ones. We'll only be using three, IT man has uh, indicated to me. Son of a bitch. That's why you should put two in and then put the plate on them and then drill the other two and then screw them in while the plate's in place. That's it. Those are, those are in. Just hand crank the tool. No, that destroys the gearbox. I think all my Bosch is designed for that. It's designed to, it locks up. Anyway, so now we have three of those on there. All right. Uh, yeah, let's try to hang it again, I guess. Well, no, we succeeded at hanging it the first time. We just didn't like it. We obviously was in the wrong spot. We didn't feel like it was good. And
Now it's got plenty of room. Oh, it's too high now. I don't like it. Uh, we do have to put thread uh, silicone on there. Yeah, that's gonna get banged up against the ceiling a little bit. Actually, we gotta I'm gonna take this plug out real quick and let it drain, because it's definitely gonna have like a startling amount. That's gotta be actively pulling water from somewhere. It's not draining on the side of the heater, I guess. Right? Yeah. Oh, we can't forget to put that in place. I'm putting that there. <laughs> yeah, that'll be bad. You're like, ha 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 ha, just shoot out the side. Actually, it'll be shoot out this side. Actually, there's a, there's a plastic plug in it. Because when you pick which side you're mounting it, it gives you the outtake and the blowout, like a regular plug you just put in. And we did, <laughs> there's a plastic plug. So this thing would heat, fill up with seven gallons of hot water and then just shoot out. Use, actually, use my own tool for this job. So this comes out. And I steal well he's doing that. Do that with yours. And then we gotta put this in. So I'm gonna need some of that on here. Yes, yeah, correct direction. I always do that. I'm like I spin tight and you always put the um Teflon tape so that the end is going in the direction you're turning it, so it's not folding it back up. You want it to be like, ooh. So if you're tightening down on it this way, it has to end that way. How much did you put on there? Madman. Two loops. That's only two loops? It's like seven loops. All right, so I'm gonna do, and it's, it, don't ever try to take off a piece off the roll and then like just wrap around in your hands. Like that's not how this works. It's not scotch tape. Your, 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 your gerb, your basic gerb is you get it straight. Now this is, this is gonna get screwed in this way. So it's gonna end that way. So I want it to end with the end facing that way, which means I gotta start it the other way. Cool. So then when I'm tightening it, yeah, it ends. I'm gonna do right there is the second loop. You prefer confirm? Confirmed. Okay. We have a lot of air to bleed out of this thing. <sighs> What's the fuck? I was gonna. I ain't got time to bleed. We See? Can't plug it in until we bleed it. I ain't got time to bleed. Much shorter. We'll use old Dan's tools. It Dan. We're, we're tag teaming this bitch. This German, this fat German thing in my basement, we're just tag teaming it. I like these because they're not. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. I need to buy a set of these. They don't have ridges on this, so you could actually use it like without damaging things. That's that's wonderful. Oh yeah, those are the flat ones I do for very visible e. connection. Yeah, it's gonna be, we'll, we'll get it to the bend straight like that. If we have to put, a, put some kind of thing here. Yeah. Oh, my beautiful insulation. Actually, now I need to go back and buy one inch insulation for this because the three quarter won't fit it. Son of a bitch. Although it really wouldn't matter too bad. I think it'll be fine for the, for a short period of time because this is all three quarter inch pipe. That side is, yes. The top I tightened by hand. That needs to be done. Um, we just still don't have the pecs here. Yeah, you gotta go out and get it. Were your car unlocked? I'm gonna go get. I'm, I'm gonna go get the pecs. I'm gonna get the camera in my head and go get the pecs. Come on, everybody. Get down tonight. Come on, everybody. What? I'm gonna go poop in his car. 
Come on, everybody, get down tonight. Wow. Bunny rabbit, groundhog, what was that? Hi, Mr. Deer. Prancing away? Look at them prance. White tails. That squirrel's leaping, holy shit. There it is. Look at my new baby. Battery in the tractor is dead. So I'm gonna order one online because the fucking auto zone was like, ooh, ooh, so I'm gonna order one. This, holding solid at 160. Silent. Pecks me up, bro. I hate I hate pillarless doors. I hate it. Before the deer live. Before the deer live, not my beamer. This is mine. This is mine. There we go. Slam the door. Or it doesn't close. It makes that terrible noise. God, pretty out here. Fuck. Fuck. I could just yell fuck. Cock a doodle doo to you too, buddy. Here's my pumpkin. Okay, this. that still haven't figured out what to do with this area I feel like I can mount like a rack of amplifiers there actually if I mounted a rack of amplifiers I could just run power from the main box to this metal come all the way up and just power all my amplifiers It'd be badass I got pecs pecs tube I did it. I did that thing where I, I went and got it. <sighs> now it's got some tests, some huevos. I think it looks slightly crooked actually. What? The whole thing's like a little... No, I can see it. Ah, here it is. <sighs> Thank God that's adjustable or I would have said, drill more holes! No, it's fine. Oh, you know what sucks though? You could put it in both directions. You get this Bosch logo, which this panel comes off. You can't rotate it. Only goes one way. I'd say no. I very. Uh, you, 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 see, look, it only has one way to go. I'm just gonna get double stick tape, and I'm gonna put it. Take, give it to me. Hand it to me. Hand that to me. It doesn't go that way. You have to uh, 3D print. No, I'm just gonna rip this fucking thing off and I'm gonna. Heat gun? Yes. Excellent. Of course, I have a heat gun. I don't have anything else. I don't even have tools I could damage things with, but I got a heat gun. Or we could ruin its integrity and it leaks. What well, does it matter? We're just doing what's it called? What did I do with my heat gun as I walk around my table? Did I take it upstairs for some reason? Yes, I did. It's, no wait, then I would have brought it back down. I brought it up because I was, was going to use the heat shrink. And I'm like, I have a heat gun. And then I, I brought it back down. I didn't bring it back down, did I? My fucking heat gun's upstairs. God damn it. Okay, I'm going to get the heat gun now. This, this is it. We're on an adventure. This is an adventurous. See, this, you get any exercise? Yeah. Do anything in my house. Walk for four years. He's gonna need a. He's gonna need this next. You know what? Whatever else I leave up here, he's gonna need. Okay, heat gun. Fucking hot up here. The basement is so cool. I know my heat's not on because we're standing next to it, but it's fucking hot upstairs. 
Okay, so we're gonna do an experiment with just the end of it. Ye! Google can't seem to tell me if you can or can't bend pecs with a heat gun, but luckily this isn't. This is just drain hose, it's not pressure. You know, this is just for okay. It's time to drain it out. Even if it crimps halfway down, it'll still. Like Great for the ba basement lights to a little bit. There's half and full. All right. Okay, so let's test it. Just a little bit here. It takes a second to get hot. So it's a weak heat gun. We're experimenting. <laughs> Is it even hot? Oh, it's hot. It's just, it's gonna kink. We'd have to put something in it and then bend it. You have to stuff it with the thing. Do I have a thing? You'd have to like force a, a bent hose. A broader area up. A broader area and then I would still shove something in there to bend with it. Like this, fold it in half. How wide is that? I could really get this. No, there's no way. I have to cut this in half. This is a good test, by the way, because your lights aren't dimming when this thing's drawing the same lots of water that the heater will draw. So. Great. Can't wait for that to. Do. How much are you trying to bend it? Like just a little bit or a lot of bit? Well, it's because I'm trying to make, I want to slew it this way. Oh, because you don't want to go behind? I mean, yeah, it's it smells. <laughs> pretty sure that's giving you cancer. We, we've just both got cancer now. Here, let me see if this, the idea is not to get the hose to crush itself. If I had a big enough, you saw cable. The thing flow. Ah, into the water. Oh, Jesus Christ. No, Undo, Dan. IT Man's channel in the description. Just fall <laughs> on top. Everything's going to be great. My airplane's going to go wonderful. Have you, has it taken off yet? Off the ground? No. That was going to happen this summer, but then I bought a house. No, priorities. So I did the same thing. Although I don't have an all, airplane. All the projects got put on hold. Yes, but they were how much easier they'll be now that you have a house. I know, now I can Where the fuck are you building an airplane if you don't have a house? Everyone's got a friend's garage. I'm looking. No, 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 annoying though is I didn't have enough room to work on it in the garage, so I could roll it outside. But then there was carpenter bees outside, and they kept coming to eat the plane because it was made of wood. Wow, you have special problems. To see Joe, uh, to see uh, Joe's special problems, you're Joe now. We're just gonna keep changing it. See Joe Dan's Jardan. I guess this this bent like it. It did a little bit like you got a curve out of it. Yeah. So I mean, honestly, keep going. Because if you do it right with this experiment, then you just we just flip it over and do the other curve. Do this. Yes. Hello. Sometimes if the battery died, I would replace it, put it back on, and it would go to time lapse mode. Oh, no. It would just decide that it's time for time lapse, everybody. Want a dead blow hammer for that? Or is that it? Oh, no, that's it. That goes up pretty far. Mm -hmm. Morty, way up there. Okay. <laughs> we need to bend this more. And then cut it to like, well, you can cut it and then we could, we could fuck with it. Yeah, so we need to get, we need to get it to bend to at least here in that spot, so. Heat gun, bucket of water. IT man, <laughs> just put on high. You're on higher, oh, okay. Oh, uh, if you blew it down the inside of it, that would heat the whole thing. Heat the tip of it off and Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. This does smell. We need gloves to touch it, you think? Mm. I have really good, nice gloves. With jokes like that, you should stay on the internet. These are actually perfect gloves for this because they're pit boss gloves. But first, I'm going to beat them against this pole in case there's a fucking spider living in one of the fucking 
fingers. Don't kill me, spider. I don't trust gloves and shit. They're just like, I'd live in there if I was a spider. Fuck that. And we got the fucking wolf spiders and grass spiders and the big bites. Yeah, we should get those gloves on. We should be able to ready to bend those. In fact, I think it's starting to bend on its own weight now, so you might want to do it. All right. How much, how much bend bend we want? How much bend bend? It's good bend bend? Yeah. That should be good enough. Did it kink or did it bend? No, it bent. It's pretty good. Right? Dan likes it when it curves to the left. Well, once we cut it, that's gonna be like, yeah, that's like ideal. Do you want to bend it? Do it as bend or is it okay if it just kicks diagonal? I don't care. As long as it can come out far enough to put a. For us. Here, you want to hold this really hot gun? Okay, so I'll cut it right here. These are pit boss gloves, so it actually protected me pretty good until I feel it in my hand now. It was a bit hot. I gotta, I gotta match it on this side so that it. it I have one battery light right now, so I killed the other one. And I don't think you have any Milwaukee chargers here. Nope. Do you have, you have no Milwaukee chargers here? Not with me. I have plenty at home. Oh God! Why does that bag with that girth? Because it's in my van. I'm pretty sure I could cut that with like a handsaw if we needed to. Could they normally cut it with big scissors? Well, the ones I wanted to buy. But you're like, nah, I can cut that with the saw. I'm like, alright, cool. Did. You did. You want a uh, sanding block for that? Uh, it doesn't really matter. I'm just trying to make it nice looking. Actually, yeah, it's just off the end, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm trying to get the factory cut ends to be the ones that we push into the... Factory cut. Oh, it's slowly springing back. Mm work quickly is it going up at all or is it being a piece of shit there we go okay it's not gonna hit the heater that's all that matters yes I'm gonna pull that out and dump it into a bucket that's fine yeah you just put the bucket under there it'll dump right on and it won't touch the heater at all it'll just hit the wall I don't want to hit the wall well, if it explodes, like this is like, that's like if it explodes, if this like ever got to the point where like, so ah, you drain it normally, you're supposed to clip a hose to this and drain it. Yeah. And it'll be right over this, which is the electrical, but that's sealed. So that's pretty good. Okay. Next, uh, we bought the elbow for that. Yeah. I'm going to take this off. We're not going to use any more heat, <sighs> cheese stick garbage floor, uh, elbow. More like L blow. Should I try to turn that more so that it, we can push the pecs back? I did. Are you ready, did? I don't mm. want to turn it that much. Yeah, no, I feel like it's tight, like where we are. It doesn't matter over there. As long as it looks cool, Dan. How's that ice pack holding up? It's pretty cold still. There's an entire chest freezer if you want to just jump into it. Okay, we'll cut it to here. Well, shouldn't you make it like tight against the fucking unit? Like straight down there? I'd prefer if it wasn't like st sticking out because it's going to just... Yeah, so we'll do it like this. What's your letter at? Zero. But I want to do it on that side because it's the factory cut side. So how long is it? We'll just turn it, just here, turn it around. No, then I can't get it against the Oh wait, I see. It's a day. It's a melon day. Do we have to take that hose off of there? Or does it say cancer? That? Yeah, as tight as you could tuck it if it's gonna be like against it. That's only get like an inch gap. Most of the ladies I like have an inch gap. It's wonderful. I don't know why they taped did they tape this because of bees? Then they knew there were bees up there. And they just put a like. This is the only place in the whole basement where there's black tape. Unless that that stuff is flapping, you can see where it's hanging. Yeah. Oh, they tore it down when they put this in. They put the radon. This is for the radon system. And they put this in when the house tried to be sold last year. There was radon in the basement, which is fantastic. I love that there's radon in the basement. So they. Yes, but that meant they got to put the radon mitigation system in 
AKA this. And I'm thinking those two pipes, I'm not 100% sure, but they're there. And the guy tested it, the home inspector tested it after they installed this, and the home inspector tested it when I bought it this year, and it was fine. So all I gotta do is make sure it's that fans. No horrible cancer stuff through Yay. Um, it's another reason I'm like, yeah, I wanna spend some time in the basement, but not like that much time. Plus now the windows open beautifully. All these windows are, are super nice. These Andersons, look at this shit. There's a fly in there. And there's two flies out here. What? Well, they're super nice. That doesn't mean that there's... And my bug assault's upstairs. Wait, where's my vacuum? That's what I'll do. I, I need to vacuum some flies. Hold on. Everyone on this video, I know we're, we're trying to do like a thing with plumbing, but this is IRL's Twitch streaming, but on YouTube, Previously recorded. Oh god. Why am I drunk? I think it's the oldest. I'm gonna unplug this light so you're gonna work in complete. Oh, you're blind. I'm blind. Are you blind? I am too. Actually, you could plug this into the outlet until we plug both things in. I don't really need it right now. Okay, now I'm gonna vacuum some flies off my window. They're being very, very nice by just sitting there. Uh-huh. And now this one on the inside, he can go too. And then it just does that. The question is, how did the fly get in the, in the fucking window? Like, in behind the, the screen? I haven't had this... works in mysterious ways. Oh, he's like, God works in mysterious ways. Make sure always IT man works in mysterious ways. Well, you only burned yourself and smashed your thumb, so we're good so far. Pinky? Oh, that's, that's hardly any concern there. Um, we don't need this, right? Should I do this? It's legal? I did it. It was legal. You down. I'm, I'm, I'm always the best with all this. Push it harder, Dad. I believe in you. That's all. Should we put the downpipe on first? Just because of downpipe. Because you made it super short. You told me to make it short. You did. We could always unscrew it half a crank, and it'll just be straight off the side. There we go. My OCD is satisfied now. Perfection is all, is all I ever ask for. This looks like a beta C clip for M16. Or an AR-15. You ever see the ones with the 100 rounds? <sighs> Fuck, you want so much for me, Dan. <sighs> oh, I can see. Yeah, that's fine. Pick my hammer up. My commemorative edition hammer. My East Wing 20 year. It's commemorative. It was blessed by the Pope. Shit, I should have used that opportunity to crack a fart. It would have been great. I'm like, Pfft. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everyone's looking at the fucking pipe and then... I did that once, it's cool. He never I recovered. The, drop a book trick. <laughs> you never recovered. I dropped it, and then everyone looked at me, and then... Ha 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 ha. It's like, ooh, I just maximum well, that's, that's when you fake having a seizure. And go to the nurse's office, or hospital, it's fine. Now you could dab, but that back then there was no dabbing. Actually, mm, try cut the shortest, that way you can still slide the bucket over. Right? Probably. That's a good idea. Yeah, we don't have to be exact. I want to use it. Can I use it? Yep. Can I cut it not over your bag? So that it's actually like. You happy right there? Where's your thumb? You can see your fucking thumb. 
I need one of these. What does it do to fingers? Oh my God. I need one of these that's bigger that I could use to cut beef. The M18 one. The M18 one does five by five inch cuts. So you can oh, cut shit. a whole four by four with it. Oh shit, I need it from, for steaks. Plus what we just did, I, fin I spent all that time cleaning off one of the ends, and then we cut that one end short. Good. Well, you can keep that extra piece now. That's why I have... What you need to keep in your bag is a uh, sanding block for a uh, drywall. They're the best. They just... Whoosh, it's a point, you can put it in the thing, you can twist it. If I probably run and get it before you're done with that, I could probably, I could probably get it and show everyone what I'm talking about. And then I'll clean up the end of the one we just cut faster than anyone could do it. See here. There, that's pretty good. Need one of these. I approve. It looks like it's the business now. Now, whatever you do, do not plug it in. I just plugged it in behind you, just magically. Pick up your ice pag, ice pag. Okay, um. Okay, so now we uh, turn the water main back on. Main first or all these first? Main first. Don't forget to turn on the gas line also. Actually, turn on the gas line now and see if it makes any sounds. I don't feel like that was a long enough test. All right. There we go. This is one inch main, and then it breaks off there. That's gotta be for a hose bib somewhere on this corner. I've not looked in this corner for a hose bib. Where the fuck would it be? Cause that would be the highest pressure hose bib in the world. And then, no. Okay. Now what's the next procedure? Um, we're going to open this. How do we bleed air? Through the emergency valve. Yeah, let me do it. Oh. We're checking for dripping. I hear leaks. I don't hear leaks here ticking through. Here, hold on. I guess I open this too. Yeah, now we're filling up this. Should we have it open while we do this? Yeah, probably. I only have that cracked because I don't want it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so now we're waiting. So now this is filling with water, but we're letting the air out through the emergency relief valve. So when that actually shoots out the side, we're probably gonna have to stop it or just keep running it, probably fill that bucket up. Well, once this starts coming out here, then we yes. close it. That should be most of the air is out of there. And then we open up some taps upstairs. Yeah, lots of lots of running around is about to occur. Is there anything still open upstairs? I think I closed everything. Well, no. And this isn't plugged in and this isn't plugged in. Nothing's okay. plugged in. So it's not filling up with hot water. Yes. Nice and cold. Except that means it's going to be a while before you get uh... Yeah, well here, the, what we were discussing, did we discuss this on camera? The, the, the seven minute, the two minute wait now is a nine minute wait? If it's cold. Yes, well that's the thing, uh, because we, what we didn't talk about is how that outlet that runs this is on the generator circuit. Which when this is just running gas, that's fine. Because it just keeps, make sure you have hot water. Imagine eventually what we'll do is we'll, we'll put a, some kind of smart outlet in or something. I have a little plug in well, smart. I, mean, I guess you have to keep it in. Yeah, no, because the point is, if I lose power and the generator's running, if this stops functioning, as long as I'm using hot water, using it, this is going to heat up. And as long as this is heating up... This thing is off all night. Or, actually, it'd still be pretty warm after night. No, that's the... Po Poopy! Oh, water door. It's making the poop. Here, I'll, I'll let it out slower. Let's test the other one too, just to make sure. Here, hold on, I'll drag it over instead of kicking it. Uh, Ready? Hit it up. 
Wow, that's a lot of flow. Please stop. I'm gonna have to carry this. Okay, our overflows are now in place. We have a fully water here, water there. There's a couple drops here, which is, I wanna make sure. Splashes from. Yeah, yeah, from whatever we're doing. But I just wanna, do we just like let it sit for a minute before oh, we're doing it? Open the, uh... Oh, I gotta run hot water. Even though it's not gonna be hot water, it's gonna just be cold water. <sighs> Great. Confident when you touch the top of the compressor and then you use pliers and then when we mounted the thing we're confident three times Echo kitchen 100 This should be the farthest faucet is oh, there's a there's a fly Get me the gun. Where's my gun? Where's my gun? Where is he? Hi, boopers. Daddy's hunting. Leave me alone. Put hot there and put cold here. Oh. All right, I'll do the... Uh... Oh, there he is. Well, where it lands, you motherfucker. He dead. I'm gonna do my bathroom. Which side's hot? Oh, black goo. That was black goo. Probably doesn't have to be full. I'd probably run it like slow. This way it like, oh God. Yes, oh. Hi. Um, shower head only, all the way hot. All the way hot. The shower is retardedly large, by the way. I can't, I can almost not shower in it. I shower in the other shower a lot of the time. This place is like, it's weird. Is the water pressure still good? Yeah. I mean, this is only hot, so I got a cold, I get even more pressure. So you get more pressure when you turn all the other faucets off, please. True, but this is fine. Like, this is what I expect in my shower. It depends on you, by the way. If you turn the instant water heater on before we turn the other one on. Then It'll then fill it up, and we're gonna have to wait. Put these. To Take it off of extremely hot. Yeah, that shot black. These shot black goo. Really? Yeah. I think one of these is hot. There's hot. That may be good from the water filter. Well, that is. Well, that was actually difficult to turn off for a second. Yeah, cold pushes way harder than the hot, always, but that's just the way it is. Chewbacca, don't go in my shower, baby. <laughs> yeah, so this, for those of you who don't know, needs to be moved into the shower, because that's the thermostat, and it belongs in the shower, and there should be a simple on-off switch here, and it should be in the shower. So when you set the steam, it's like, you wanna burn your skin off? We could do that. I got skin burning. All right, the only last one I'll do the, the, the guests. Would you like to stay in our guest room? Here it is. It's Nouveau Riche. Uh, same thing. That seems to have been fine.
Okay, off. Oh, take that off of extremely hot. Yeah, you're right. If we put on the, if we just plug, we don't even have to plug, we plug in the heater. As soon as we run hot water, it's gonna fill that seven gallons up in about two minutes. And then it'll just never have to run again. Like it should not have to, it should be well insulated enough that it almost never has to run. It has to run to replenish the heat it uses. In, in, in the circulator pump, which now I have an excuse, actually, I'll, I'll get this, this stuff up because I gotta get the rest of the insulated stuff up or else I'm gonna be throwing away a lot of electricity. So yeah, now we can hear all the water that we used. Trickling down to my septic. Okay, so that's the Noritz, which should light up there in a second. 130, now this doesn't have temperature. It just this has- like a Ford where it's like, how, how what's the temperature? Uh, I want it slightly higher than ideal because that's what 130 is. Although if you set it to one, if you set it to ideal- Well, what I want to come out of the faucets needs to still be... When this thing comes on, you want this to turn off. You don't want them both running at the same time. Correct. Plus, if that thing blows five, six degrees hotter than it wants, that thing will stay off forever. That's what we want. We just want this thing to make your, hot, your water nice and warm. So I should right. set that to some absurdly high temperature. Mm. It'll just... Because think about it. If this fills this with 145 degree water, it'll just push... It'll always be whatever temperature this is trying to be. Not around the plug if you could avoid it. What does that switch to? It's got power now. It'd suck if this didn't work. I don't know how much power it's drawing, but... We should have put a kilowatt on it. Let's just do it then. Here, hold on. Where's my kilowatt? I have little tiny extension cords. I have little tiny extension cords because I'm the best. That's why. We could do this. Where the fuck is my kilowatt? Where was I using it? Yeah, yeah. I... No, here it is. Obviously sitting on this table. So. These are the best things that's ever been invented. So we could actually do that and then switch to watts. 0, 0.0, 0 watts currently being, oh, there it goes, 1,282 watts. Okay. So, well, not, well, that'll be the only indicator we know if it's going on or off, right? Yeah. Well, no, I think it will. I don't know if this is when the heating element, wait, unplug it again? Because it. It didn't kick on right away, so plug it back in. Oh, okay, it just... 621, 1300 watts. Oh, okay. The, I, I think this light might go on when, it, when it's heating. Well, it's heating, right? So is it on? Yeah, it's on right now. So I should go upstairs and run hot water to you kick that... The, the most? I'm gonna do the whole shower in the bath. Yeah, the bathtub's probably a full straight run. Yeah, so... And then by the time it gets to temperature in the bathtub... Ah! Uh, it's got a thousand legs. Oh God, pasta! I'm so sorry. So sorry. Do you like it? No, I don't like it. You can go. Bye. Run into your glue trap, you bastard. <laughs> okay. So now, what we could do is I could do that thing I do. Hold on, I do a thing so that we know when it gets hot water. Set this to 100 degrees and, beep. and it'll beep in the bathroom. We need a cup or a bowl. We'll hear it. Oh, perfect. Chewbacca, I'm borrowing your old water dish. Is that cool? Thanks, baby. So, I'll put this here. Make sure it could still drain. That's, which one's? That's cold. That's hot. Drop that fucker in there. 
70 degrees, 69. I hate this fucking lamp. I hate it. I hate that. I'm replacing that with this track light. Straight down. A nice white piece of Juno track light. Then I can put lights like there. What? House settling. It's the only place there's a crack, except for, oh, did you see this? Here. I'll take the camera off my head to show them this. That. Looks like the kitchen fell down a little bit. Because I don't think this moved. The kitchen wall just went bump. So it's fine. It seems fine. Go see. I'll tell you what this is going to do. This is going to take a bit. Yeah. We're at 79. It's 80. We're actually going up. Eighty-three, eighty-four, eighty-five. Well, we're actually gonna we're gonna witness it hit a hundred degrees, which a hundred isn't where it's set. It's set to one hundred and thirty on the big one, the Noritz. See, and that's a it's a good volume of water, but it's replacing it rather quickly with this thing. So this this actually makes sense. I'm just pressuring my pasta. Don't forget to link the polder thermometer. This polder. See this polder? That was probably a new one. Or fucking Wi-Fi or some stupid shit. So now we set this to like 120. Because that's the absolute maximum water attainable. And at that point, it should be where the electric heater shuts off. There's one that's gonna, that was fast. So it replaced all the cold water in that seven gallon tank. And it's heated up. Because if it was 105 here, that means it's 105 in the tank or more, because it's probably taken a good seven, eight seconds to get here. And it's cooling down in the pipes regardless. This might be the most efficient system, we'll see. Because the electric shouldn't have to run them very often. And the gas is pretty fucking efficient for like heating water. So yeah. So this should go off at 100 and, I'm gonna set it to 125 in case it actually gets there. And I should be able to hear it. Which means we should already have hot water here. Well, this is a farther run, so let's see what this... Ice cold. Yeah, obviously the hot water is low pressure here due to the tank, the tub going up. Any more dead flies? There's a fly over here now with a bunch of salt. There he is. He died. You got fucking shot. He got gatted. Was he your friend, Chewbacca? Too bad, get better friends. Garbage where you belong. All right, cat fade out, then final thoughts. All right, all right, all right, all right. back on immediately. So here's what we're doing. We're gonna get a magic marker, and we know that's producing 130 degrees, or at least that's what it's set to. So he's turning the knob slowly, until it eventually turns on, then we'll know that that's like 132 degrees. Why? Well, I thoroughly this thing over. <laughs> there we go. So that's, is it fast or is it like, all right, so it's I right. I it right there, I think. Has that beeper gone off yet? No. Well, what's it say right up there right now? It's, it's, it's supposed to go off at 125 and it was getting close to 120 when I left. So it may just be losing temperature. Like we, we'd have to measure the temperature there versus the offset. i say right here is probably pretty good. Here's what this is saying it's producing. We'd only know if it was if we touch this part of it with our hands, which is, I mean, it's hot. And then this is receiving. Do you have one of those temperature guns? I do. It's upstairs again. God damn it. <laughs> it takes, fuck. 
No cape hookers? It's a tub. We hit 128. It just ticked over to 128. So we're pretty much gonna get the 130, I think. 129. I'm just gonna set it. I'm gonna leave that running. I'm gonna set that to like 137. Um, bring this down to Dan, IT man, linked in the description, and uh, see what it says is coming out of the unit. And then everything to that will be loss. So we'll see how accurate all these things are. And then we're gonna mark on the electric exactly where it turns on and off which would mean it's exactly at that mark and we could actually give it a temperature so we actually hit 128 in the tub well no i'm just gonna keep it going like what the fuck's the difference reuse it all once we know that that's that and then we can measure this at 75 degrees fahrenheit why reflective it's a reflective thing the brass won't be. The brass won't be. Hold on. 93. Wow, oh, I really can't read this. There you go. 105, 118. I'm showing 117, 116. Highest I can read is 118. I didn't even try on the, like, the raw copper. Hold on. You know, 75, it's completely fucking whacked. Measure the, uh... There you go, 123, 124. Measure it directly on there. Well, no, the, the, it shoots under the... Oh, okay. One twenty four, one twenty five, one twenty five point eight, one twenty six point one twenty seven. 126, 127. So that's about it. It's probably roughly one... It's The tapes also probably insulating slightly. So if this says 130, this appears to be producing 130. This is holding on to 130 right now. Where's your magic marker? Yes. Well, I'd say live with it for a little bit first. I just want to mark it. I want to find out where that is and then just mark it. So it's off right now, correct? Yeah. So. Hysteresis in the thermostat. Because you're setting it actually higher than that because it lets it drop further. Oh, so this is not going to be an accurate... Well, yeah, because right now you're setting it to be much hotter than... So how would I know exactly when it would... It's going to have like a 10 degree flop. But if I'm asking for more than 130, it should... It's, it's got 130 in it right now. We've agreed to that, correct? So if I ask it for more than 130, it should turn on at 131. You don't want it to do that, though. But I just want to mark where 130 is. Unless this thing's just maximum. <laughs> Do you think the max thing is going to set is 130? Oh. I just clicked on. Yeah. I'm going to take it down. Or it, it should, it should autom if it knows I'm adjusting it. There's 130. I'm filming this triangle too because it's stupid. Always color in your indicators, boys. Um. Dan, I am upside down. Please write 130. Well, the other reason I didn't want to write all this is because now you can't return it. Alcohol will remove that. Okay. 130? 130. Look how much neater he writes than I do. He does his zeros backwards and everything. You know how to put F. You know how to put F. He's putting F. He put the F. But, but now if I want to go 125, it's going to be harder to like indicate that. The alcohol wraps it off. Smart ass. Okay, so that's set to 130. So now we're just gonna go down to like there, just under 130. So now I can go shut off my tub. And now you can put the box yeah, well, I have to put it on correct. Yeah, well, I want to insulate the pipes, or else I'm just gonna be losing water here. So I could do that tonight or tomorrow, or with you now. You feel like climbing on the step stool, and it's honestly this run is the easy run because look, it starts here. Here's where the hot water comes from that side. So I, I, it's up above this somewhere, which I, I'm dreading. It's already insulated though, because it's in insulation. Mostly, but then it just goes that way and then fucking snakes and then that way to the kitchen. I'd be more concerned about this way to the kitchen, yeah. which, but it's not even touching insulation. We just wrap it around that shit. Wait, is that where it comes in or is this where it comes in? This might be where it comes. You yeah, know, this is where it comes in because I followed the line. So. Now I don't know. 
Where are we? Oh, no? No. Wait, where's the washer hookup? That's what that is. It's on this side. Okay, that's the washer dryer. Hot and cold for the washer dryer, which I can insulate, so it doesn't matter. And then here, because this is where the circulator pump is, so I at least have to insulate to the circulator pump, because it's at least going to pull this way. As long as there's warm water waiting here at this cross junction, no, waiting here at this cross junction, if it bleeds that way, so up. But when I go to put on the water in that bathroom, it only has to go whoop, 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 there's instead of, bathroom? what? There's another bathroom over there? It's a guest bathroom. What about that one over there? That's the hallway, public bathroom. There's three bathrooms. Oh. I have three bathrooms. Of course I have three bathrooms. Why would I have less than three bathrooms? But yeah, no, so that, so we can just wrap this pipe like in 12, 20 minutes. It'll be super easy, because now if we... F well, you haven't been drawing on it? No, I haven't been drawing on it. All right, let me go shut off the bathtub. Which will shut that off. And then we can attach the Bosch logo correctly, either in cutting off the back of this, which I should just cut it off. If I ever needed to return that thing, I would just fucking... A, order one from Amazon, take the broke on, put it in the box and return it and put the new cap back on it. Or just glue this on and say, fuck you. I trust the Bosch mostly though. Our final temperature, 132. We've managed to achieve 132, which is hotter than we're asking for. So there's actually two more degrees. That's hot, it's full of hot water. I'm gonna leave that alone. So. Useful kitchen gadget.com. The infrared thermometer was almost useless. Uh, cut this bit off. All right, so there, I think there might be a way to offset the Noritz burner because it was 132 in my bathtub. So if I trust that one more than I trust this one. I don't remember. I have to check the. Well, the Noritz probably puts the temperature higher than 130 because it anticipates it's going to lose temperature between here and the destination. And people are going to be like, why isn't it 130 at my faucet? Well, I'll just. But that's good though. That means if I want. But now this, we know exactly. We know then that then that line is wrong. What we draw 130 at is actually 132. Well, roughly. It's close. I just want to know it's close. Whatever. It's good enough. I could set that to 100, do the same test, and put another line at 100. So at least I know like a range of things. So now here I'm going to fix this. Or, you could just leave it. or I could be lame and just leave it. But you think my fan base is going to allow me to be that lame guy who leaves it? God. How many videos are going to watch about water heater? People in the comments of this video, but no, 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 not here. Go to his channel in the description and tell them how many videos about me doing water heater shit you'd watch. <clears throat> I didn't cut. I just put blue tech on it. It'll just stick off a little bit. It'll look cool. Yeah, that'll look cool. There you go. Boom. Yeah, this is a, we did a thing. Now this is just a mildly annoying that it's like there. Put an anchor in the wall. We just screw one of those screws in. We put a block of wood here. Just, just anything to make it like crook. I don't care. Should I keep this energy guide thing on this? Yeah. So huh? you get arrested if you remove that. It's like the stickers on the Taking the picture. I have a picture of it yesterday. Oh, can we zip tie the electrical wire first? Y yeah, if you want to do that. You have zip ties? You need my zip ties. Uh, I have zip ties. If there's anything I got, it's zip ties. Um, I think I think we're done. Oh, oh no, wait. <clears throat> Echo, turn on circulator pump. Well, no, now we're going to feel if this pipe gets warm. Oh, okay. So now, the hot side zip should... Ties. Zip ties. But I... Hopefully no one's asked that question. I got to put my screws back in here. This is my name, watch your video on speakers. Do you want big zip ties or little, little shitty zip ties? These are fine. Temptations. It's not to take. We'll just open the. Oh, God, that's why I put it in there. It's perfect. Those are little shitty zip ties, though. So now, it's a good wang, yang, yeah. So now, while we're inside that pipe, it'll be warm to our hands. It'll be great. It'll be great. It's gonna be great. 
So thank you everyone for stopping by to this fucking insane video. I just wanted to have everything recorded for when we fucked up and we had to redrill it. And then, sure, that life isn't easy. Yeah, no, you're always gonna fuck it up. It's measure at least once, maybe, maybe twice. I don't know, maybe three fucking times. This or crickets. It's not doing it anymore. Eh, you don't bang the gas line. Jesus. Ah. At least wait till I'm back over here before you bang the gas line. <sighs> yeah. What? Huh? Sometimes you have to drill twice. Sometimes you have to drill twice, and sometimes you gotta drill three times. We do not have to go back to Home Depot. No. He was betting we wouldn't get this done. Yeah, we it, we didn't buy any extras. We didn't buy any extras. We actually no, we did. We bought one extra anchor. Wall anchor that we didn't use. Yeah, I know, but we could have used that third one and it would have not been we would have fought this whole problem. Oh now I gotta dump the water out in the back cellar door. Fuck. Or just let it evaporate naturally over time. I'll be here again and it'll still be here. I got a dehumidifier. I'll just pour it on the floor in front of the dehumidifier. Oh, one other thing we did before I leave. Um so I have the dehumidifier that I was talking about a couple of unboxings ago. And I was gonna buy hose to run the pipe, the the pump thing all the way to there, which is a entrance for those two hoses and those two hoses which are really sitting down really too far are to pick up the condensation from the air conditioning units and then there's pumps there so what we did because he assured me that i could pump fast enough and it definitely fucking can is we now have this hype pop up pumping into that which then that pumps out so we're just pumping it like three feet so this when it fills up the bucket will go whoop and then shove it into that and that activates that pump when the float is reached or it doesn't actually it's actually floatless and then that uses a heavy duty pump to pump the water out into my septic so my deep my dehumidifier can run 24 hours a day seven days a week it's much drier down here but that's because of the weather too chewbacca keep an eye out for um spiders and uh creepy crawler fucking things she keep, likes to play with that leaf there's a leaf that she picks up in her mouth and she throws it. Just don't come through here. This is bad news in here. You don't want to be under the stairs. You haven't been down here in like two weeks because we were spraying poison on the bees. Look at her. It's pretty spry for a 14 year old lady. She's a spry little girl. Anyway, I'm done. Check out his YouTube page. Check out my, well, you're on my YouTube page and this probably won't go anywhere else. That looks absurdly retarded. I, uh, I mean, if it, if it like... I'm trying. I'm not done yet. Uh, uh, but what is this? What is... It's just the way it be. What is this? That's the control. Yeah, but doesn't it continue up? And then go back down? What it was? I don't even know. No, it's, this paperwork is back here. It's not level. I, I love you, Dan. But I'll have to deal with this now. Because it's... Oh, God. Why are these not the same? Why are these not the same? Ah!